just a brown box with um, Haunted Living, you know, the number, different, different, um, what is it called? Just different information on them. Anyway, let's just get them open. There you go. Get the giant keyboard out. This is the keyboard and webbing. This in here. See, there's some instructions. But this is all his parts. One arm is the motorized arm and hand. Here's his body and head there. Here's the batteries. We're gonna be needing those because there's no outlets out here. Here's his control box, some leg poles, and his adapter. The clothes for the keyboard, I assume. The kind of back piece. Here's his waist piece and what holds the keyboard up. The base. Let's unbox the keyboard and webbing. And I have a real keyboard, actually. So stick around if you want to see comparison between this keyboard and that one. Okay, this is, this is nice. This is a really realistic looking keyboard. Can't wait to get that. Okay, so now let's begin the setup. So you take the base, the there's a sticker that labels it that says front. So first, you take these, the sound box, the poles with like the sound box and stuff. Take this pole, connect it E to E, now put it on. C to, no, A to A, <laughs> now block it on. And the one with the sound box, B to B. Next, you take this waist piece, hip piece, and stick it on D to D and C to C. You're supposed to take this piece. There we go. Then you take this piece and slide it on the front here. And then you take this piece of fabric that was in our separate bag. You find the hook on it and you hook it on. Okay, next we attach the main body here. We just snap lock it on top. And then, wire some wires. Oh, now that you have the chair. And then, you take the arms and you just feed it a little bit of the sleeve. Then you take the sleeve. Oh, make sure to use the wire for the arm. And here's the other arm. And you're just gonna do the same exact thing. Next, what you're gonna do is take this piece and it just hooks into the back. There'll be matching colors. So you can see exactly where it goes. There we go. And then, I think the last thing to do is take your keyboard and there's gonna be these four holes and they're gonna go in each one of the pegs on the stand. And in case there's any confusion, there's a label for front and back. And then the last thing to do is either um, is plug in all the wires and then either uh, put in the batteries or uh, hook up the adapter.
Okay, it is now the next day, and I've had this guy for a little bit. And I think I'm ready to do my review section. So, I still absolutely love this guy. He's definitely my favorite of the four band members. But I do not have the singer yet, so I don't think the singer's gonna end up my favorite, but obviously I don't know until I actually get him in. Um, the keyboard is awesome. At the end, I'll do a comparison between this and a real keyboard. So stay tuned if you wanna see that. But it's really, his cloth is really nice and high quality. He has creepy cloth, his face. I absolutely love the purple eyes, the hinge jaw. Now they tried to make it quiet by adding some foam here, but what they should have done is added it to the front since I think that's where it hits. So, because you can hear in his demo, a lot of clacking and like clicking from the jaw closing. Um, but his hands, now something kind of weird is they're like fleshy Whereas, if you look at the guitarist, uh, for example, they're just skeleton hands on both the guitarist and the drummer. So, I don't know what caused them to make that design choice, but they still do look pretty good. Um, the spider webbing is just kind of like a cotton or something. It's nice. I think it adds to him overall. Um, there's underneath the webbing little skulls on either side with LED eyes. Um, these are not actual individual keys, it's just, there's like a painted on line. Um, it does get kind of messy at the end here, which I would have preferred not to see, but it's not terrible. And then also, just in shipping, my keyboard got a little banged up, unfortunately. So, yeah, I like that it's red and black with silver accents like on the skulls and here and stuff and overall i definitely do recommend this character now for the price i think definitely his arm sh his other arm this arm should have moved um and then also why are these guys like the only one only props of lowe's lineup to not have weatherproof, like the weatherproof control box. I would have loved to see these guys be, have the ability to be out in the rain and get wet. Like whoever decided that like Lowe's or Techie, I would have preferred to see them be waterproof. But other than those two things, I don't think I have any other complaints. Okay, so this is the comparison between the keyboard that you get with the keyboard player from Lowe's and a real keyboard. So obviously there are differences, like this one has a real screen. I don't know why it's so messy. Um, and like the buttons actually work and stuff, and knobs and there's actual speakers. Um, and the keys actually play. Whereas this, it's all just one piece. But I definitely do think it gets the job done. And at least with my keyboard, um, it's the one that comes with the keyboardist is a bit bigger. Which, I mean, I'm not complaining. This one has red buttons. Mine has gray. This one. 
Okay, that's probably meant to be like the volume thing. Um, there's the percussion section right here. Nothing there. Just little differences like that, but from a glance, this looks like a keyboard. Would have been kind of cool to see them try to detail speakers here, or maybe this is where his sound came from or something, but it's covered by spider web, so it's not that big a deal. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it for the two keyboards. I really like how this guy turned out, and I definitely do recommend him. I think 250 for what he is would have been the sweet spot, but 300, he is, his instrument is a lot bigger than the other threes, and I think he's at least decent and worth it for the price. Um, at least, if you really like him, he's online only, so once he sells out online, then it's too late, so I'll leave Halloween Haunters affiliate link in the description and the pinned comment so if you decide that you want this guy feel free to use that it supports halloween haunter and hopefully lets lowe's know that they can do more partnerships with other hunters in the future hope you enjoyed this review and see you in the next one Bye.